North Myrtle Beach in the studio. Mark Hager joining us live with the victorious Chiefs. Fantastic outing, young men. Congratulations, Coach Harding, on your victory. The North Myrtle Beach Chiefs live in the end zone studio. First, the cheerleaders. They had plenty to cheer about tonight. Ladies. So the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs under first-year head coach Blair Harden, you're not used to losing. I read your bio. You, you're a winner, and you started off the year kind of rocky, and tonight a big night for you. It wasn't pretty at times, but you got the job done in overtime. It, you know, the thing that I was proud about with our team is just a team effort. Everybody contributed. Uh, we had probably five or six or seven guys go both ways tonight, and uh, at the end, uh, we, we talked a lot about team this week and uh, last Saturday after our, our meeting, and and it was, just fun. it was just great to see us pull together as a team and finish at the end. I poked my head into one of your huddles uh, on a Wednesday, about a, a week ago Wednesday, and uh, very intense practices that you run. I mean, I've been to some practices, but that, those practices you hold, you really get the focus. I think the two things I got out of it, focus and up-tempo. I like to do things fast, uh, so they'll you know, happen on Friday and Thursday with our JVs as well. So just, I've always been an up-tempo guy. I want our players to be up-tempo, play fast, play hard, and just and finish. And that's one thing we talk about a lot. Let's talk about some difference makers tonight. You had Ronnie Bass, a sophomore, in at quarterback. You kind of surprised everybody. Uh, Kendrick Furness was benched up until the end, and both of them wound up being big heroes tonight. And you know, we're fortunate to have two uh, good quarterbacks. Um, they do a great job challenging each other each week. They pull for each other. Um, it was great. We had great balance with both of them tonight. And, um, and like I said, it was a team effort with both of them contributing on their parts. And uh, we finished at the end. Well, you, you've got some great players on offense, but you have struggled a little bit. The defense has really carried the day a lot. You know, we, we've played uh, really good defense this year, uh, especially co very consistent the past few weeks. And offensively, we're, we're getting better, we're learning, and just trying to be more consistent to finish better. Let's brag on some of these kids on the defense because those guys sometimes get lost in the sauce on Friday nights. Unless they have the rock in their hands, you know, people don't talk about them. There's a lot of people on that defense. You know, we've got three seniors, uh, three rocks, actually four rocks in the middle with uh, Trey and Keyshawn and Tyrone. And, uh, and Ray, and they've, they've been a pivotal part uh, of our defense all year. Uh, we have some good guys in the secondary as well that are battling, but we, we just got a team, and we play team defense. Uh, we, we're not real fancy what we do. We just try to read and, read and run. You know what I really liked was the fact that uh, when Ronnie was on the field, Ronnie Bass, you started him at quarterback, and Kendrick Furness didn't have a problem with it. In fact, congratulated him. And, uh, and, and the same thing when Kendrick came on and, and made some good plays. But there is no quarterback battle going on right now this deep into the season, is there? No, we have a team, and that's the biggest thing. Uh, we talked about all week and last week is um, going into region play is who's the best team and who wants it the most. So we're fortunate to have a, a team that's uh, hopefully gain, gaining confidence right now. All right, HTC game ball now, and a guy that plays both ways, uh, who does it go to? This week it'll go to Tyrone Williams, who's beside you. Uh, Tyrone broke his hand last week. <laughs> well, give it to him. <laughs> he broke his hand? You, you, you've been playing with a broken hand? Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I really hate to miss games, so the quicker we got this cast on, the quicker I was ready to play Friday night. Man, I don't think I'd want you to hit me, let alone with a cast. Well, I mean, it's coming for you, so watch out for it. <laughs> You're 5'9", 240, and just a fire plug on both sides of the line for this team. Let's talk about how nasty that play was in the trenches. A lot of times the fans are just watching the football, and they don't see the game inside the game, and that's what you did, and I think Coach Harden saw that. Yes, sir. Well, you got your people beside you that really help you on your double teams. And, like, I got Chris as my center to the left. And I got my son Jarrell up there as my, <laughs> as my tackle to the right. And I got Ray as my left guard. And I got Nolan as my left tackle. You know, we're all one big line, and we push. How excited are you after starting the season again? It was off, you were struggling. But now have you found your rhythm? Yes, sir. I would say we really played as a family tonight, and I really enjoyed that. 
Well, there is a lot of talent on this football team. I mean, the cheerleaders are here, the coaching staff is here, and this is a proud program. And you got Wilson coming into the, you're going to Wilson, in fact, and going to Florence Memorial Stadium next week. Can you stay on this roll? Yes, sir. I believe we found a good rhythm, and I believe we can keep going with it. All right. The North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, Blair Harden, some final comments about Wilson next week. Going to take on a cat named Turtle Richardson. That's their quarterback, Christian Bruce, uh, uh, their fine wide receiver. And they've, they've got quite a team, and they beat St. James tonight. You know, I, I don't know much about him. Well, I don't know anything about him, honestly. Um, our focus has been uh, Georgetown all week, just having our players prepare for Georgetown. So uh, we'll enjoy this tonight. Uh, I did want to give a shout out to the Blue Crew. Uh, it was homecoming tonight, so a lot of our alumni community is great to have them uh, there tonight. But we'll, uh, we're going to watch film tomorrow, what we did uh, tonight, and then we'll move forward on uh, Wilson on Monday. Oh, oh, last thing, you got quite a kicker. This, this, cat, this cat can kick. Yeah. Christian Buis had a 37-yarder, a 44-yarder. I thought he was going to get that 47. Buis, uh, he does a good job. You know, I've, I, he does. Uh, <laughs> he's he's uh, he's been great for us. You know, we uh, <laughs> we've we've got a kicker. So it's you know, special teams for special people. And his, and his leg did a great job tonight. And he gave us uh, six points with field goals, and it helped the outcome tonight. And last thing, how about the coaching staff? Let's give a shout out and talk about some of the guys on the coaching staff that have worked so tirelessly w with this program and, and staying the course. You know, we've got a great staff, work well together. Uh, our defensive staff, Coach Mundy, Coach Campbell, Coach Cromer, Coach Alderson, and then offensively, uh, Coach Grawl, Coach Ingersoll, uh, Coach Silver, Coach Johnson, Coach Real. Uh, it's just a good working relationship, and uh, we really enjoy these young men a lot. And Keeter Hayes, you can't forget him. Uh, Keeter's the best. He really is. All right. The North Myrtle Beach Chiefs live in the end zone. And boy, do they deserve it, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it'll be all day, baby. We out there. All right. Congratulations, Chiefs. Again, congratulations to Blair Harden and your victory tonight. This team now really 1-0 because region play is where it is. Regardless of what you did prior to region play, it doesn't matter. It's all about what's going on right now. And they're 1-0 and eyeing a spot in the postseason.